Hi there, welcome to Moving to Mac Part 2. And uh, in this episode, I just want to talk to you quickly about the red X button that you'll find at the top left-hand side of every window within macOS uh, programs and uh, applications. This button works slightly differently than the red X button that you might be used to in Windows. In Windows, it basically quits. It closes the uh, program, it frees up the memory, and uh, reduces CPU usage. In macOS, it's slightly different. As a general rule, this button is designed to close the window of an application and nothing more. The application remains running in the background. So if I, I'm in Chrome at the moment here, if I close this window with the red X button, Chrome remains open. If I go to the bottom here, I can see that because I've got Chrome here and there's a black dot underneath it. And if I click on that, it just immediately opens back up again. To actually fully close it and release all the resources it's using, I go to the menu at the top here for this particular program and uh, just go to quit Google Chrome. Or alternatively, I can press Command and Q on the keyboard. And that works for any application. So if I just press Command and Q now, Chrome disappears and you'll see also that the black dot has gone from the bottom. It isn't the case, however, for all applications. It's really a developer's choice which one they choose to use. If I go into Photoshop here and then I click the red X, well, that's another one that happily closes the window and it remains running in the background. However, if I go into Audition here, Adobe Audition, well, that works differently. And that one, you can see there's an extra pause there because that one actually closes the application entirely. And I thought that might be to do uh, with Rosetta too, because I'm running on uh, an M1 Mac here. But as far as I can tell, that happens in native M1 applications as well. So if I go to DaVinci, DaVinci Resolve, that is a uh, native M1, uh, a native ARM application. And... Um, I'll just wait for that to open and go into a project here. And if I close it with the red X, well, it's completely closed there. The dot's gone now from the bottom, so it's released all those resources. As a general rule, all you have to remember is that if you really want to quit, Command and Q is your friend. There we go, part two of Moving to Mac.